we are going to be taking a look at Fan's project uh, F function X2 uh, quadruple U, also known as Weird Wolf. Uh, I don't understand why people didn't get the name. Uh, nobody can figure out what quadruple U meant. I thought it was the easiest one so far, quadruple U. Code was uh, Chrome Dome, it was every third letter in the name Chrome Dome, spelled out code. Quadruple U is just Weird Wolf, WW. Two doubles makes a quadruple, quadruple U. I don't know what why people couldn't figure that one out, but obviously here we have Weird Wolf, quadruple U, in his alt mode. Uh, as you can see, he is a wolf. He does look incredibly badass. I don't have my G1 right now. It's in storage, so I can't compare it, but um, you can see the sword becomes the tail, much like the original. He doesn't have a gun. The original came with a gun and his sword, but as you can see, very, 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 very nice looking. Um, does have mouth does open which is cool but he does have a compartment up here which is keen to get open and then inside we have the headmaster who's the real weird wolf we can get him out wow he does not want to come out come on there we go Take a look at him in just a second. Now again, I prefer the Japanese continuity. Uh, if you follow the American continuity, he is what, Mondo? Monzo? I don't even know, because I don't really follow that continuity. Because they were in what, one episode of G1, if that. Um, standard headmaster articulation. Ben, double Ben here. The only difference is with these guys that they're not locked at the knees, like G1. But you can see, mostly black, does have a red face, kind of hard to tell, it's all dark. It's very cool looking, you see the head on the back. Uh, to transform this guy, you gotta watch out for the head crest, you wanna pull it all the way out, put the arms at the side, hold them up. Like so. Get them as squared as possible. Um, the one complaint I do have is the legs don't lock in. But again, none of the fans' projects ones have so far, so it'd be nice if they added that. Put the crest down, and there we have the head. We'll take a look at that in, uh, in combined mode. You know, in, in robot mode. So, as far as the wolf mode, he is very, very, very pretty. Um, you do see these black bits that stick out, we'll show those off in a little bit in, uh, in, uh, robot mode. Um, now what's very cool is this guy's transformation is awesome, but we'll get to that in a minute. He's not just a robot folded up like most, uh, beast modes. My one complaint is this doesn't really peg in that well, and it can wiggle free and screw up the panel lines, but it's probably just mine. As far as articulation on this mode, uh, ball joints... Hinges everywhere. This is on a ball joint. Foot's on a hinge. This part, there's a ball joint right there. This is on a hinge. Um, this is actually the robot mode foot. You just kind of leave that like that. So it's kind of ugly, but. And then the hip. This hip part is on a ball joint. Uh, same thing up here. Ball joint. Um, the square bit does hinder a little bit, but it's not that bad. Hinge with a swivel. Here end here. So there's one at the upper bicep and the forearm. That's for for beast mode, for a robot mode. And it does bend here at the, the paw. And like I said, the mouth does open with very, not very, but sharp teeth. Arr. So yeah, let's fold that up. So yeah, let's just uh, get down to it. Just for this transformation, I'm going to start by coming back here at the tail, because this tail is very long and gets in the way and you're just going to come under here and see this round part in his butt and just split it open and then just pull the tail out the uh, sword out and we'll just come back to that just to uh, make it a little easier for the camera and everything so yeah for transformation I guess we'll start and we'll start with the upper body gonna come under come up here and open the, the uh, cockpit come up here and lift up on the chest as you can see the head is attached to the chest piece 
And then what you want to do is come under here and grab them by the sides and just start wiggling. Flip back his head a little bit, make sure this cockpit doesn't stay locked in. And it's kind of hard to describe, but what you're just going to do is pry it apart and then it's going to extend out. If I can get it to go. Come on. Why is it caught? There we go. So yeah, you just want to extend it accordions up. And then there's a peg right here. And there's a hole on the inside there. And that's going to peg in in just a second. What you want to do is keep that open, fold the wolf head back. And then there's a yellow tab. It's not really, it looks just like a groove. That's just part of him, but the uh, cockpit has a notch and that's how it always, that's how it locks in. In uh, on vehicle mode, in beast mode, it just kind of pressures in. But now in robot mode, you're gonna use that yellow tab as a friction point. So once you get everything lined up together, come on, like that. You put the robot, the wolf head back, and then put some pressure. Come on. And that will, uh, see again. Gotta get everything lined up. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Now it doesn't want to lock. There we go. So yeah, once you get everything kind of squeezed in, that will uh, lock around that tab. And then I just like to fold the wolf head all the way back, because it helps with the uh, clearance up on the, uh, the head there. Forearms. Very simply fold them down. I'm trying to get this all on camera. And if you look back here, there is a spike on the back of his forearm. You're going to rotate that around and then pinch the paw closed and then rotate it around to form the fist. And that is the fist. I am not crazy about these fists. It doesn't bother most people. It doesn't really bother me, but I don't like animal paws as fists, especially like this, because now when you put something in his hand, his thumb just detaches. I think it looks silly. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to really cry about it, but that's just my only, that's my biggest complaint. So for the legs, you split them apart like I showed you before. And then what we're going to do is they're normally like that. So you're going to rotate them so that you see, obviously the screw goes in the butt. So the crotch piece has no screw. Going to rotate them around so that the black part should be, yeah, it's kind of unintuitive, but you want this black bit, like where the ugly part, the quote unquote ugly part, faces out. Wrote this a uh, black hinge right here. And you're going to just fold that in. It doesn't peg in, it just kind of frictions. And you're going to straighten this because this hinge is like this for transfer piece mode. So you're going to fold it down and then rotate it around and put the paw straight up. So there's a joint right here, there's a hinge. And you're gonna rotate it at that hinge. Um, watch out for the pegs right there. There's two pegs right there that will peg in right there and right there. Um, if you have it too low and you go like this and try to rotate it, this, will, this whole leg assembly just pops off that ball joint very easily. So just watch out. It pops back on, but it's just annoying. And then that is Make sure that that paw that, that becomes the knee isn't getting away. So yeah, that is his foot, and that's his heel. That is one foot. I'm gonna do the same old thing over here. Rotate it around. Fold it back. Fold it at that hinge. Watch the foot. Plug it in. And that is weird wolf quadruple U. Basically in his robot mode. Then, most importantly, we are going to give him his head. That's nothing, the, the thumbs can lift up, and that looks really dumb. That's my only, like I said, my only real complaint. So then, he's got the same port as code. Take the head, plug it in, yell head on, 
like an idiot. And there we have Quadro BU in his robot mode. Get his feet to stand. For weapons, obviously he has his sword. It just pegs in his hand, like so. Again, it kind of pushes his fist out a little bit, so it kind of looks funny. Like I, like I said, that's that was my complaint. That it'll just fold in like that, his thumb is hanging out. It's not terrible, it's not the end of the world, but it's just a byproduct of that, that weird fist. So yeah, there he is with his sword, does look very nice. Very awesome. Um, real quick articulation, head is the same as code, so it rotates and it can fold forward. And if you turn around, it can fold it back, but it can't do both. Um, bold joint at the shoulders, again limited, that's as far as you're going to go. With these uh, Jing Chang shoulder pads with a little missile built in there. Swivels up here, swivels bent at the elbow, not 90 degrees, but about like maybe 60 degrees. Swivel in the forearm, mostly for transformation. Uh, obviously swivels at the hip, Swivel uh, ball jointed, more universal ball joints, hips. Swivel here at the upper thigh, bends at the knee, nice and deep. Forward a little bit. Actually, forward a lot. If you move this, uh, the leg piece out of the way. Um, no, it does have an ankle tilt. If you disconnect this, you can get a tilt out of it. So obviously this is a bad toy since he doesn't have a full ankle tilt, but he does pivot at the foot. Uh, no problems posing him whatsoever. So yeah. Um, so, the other thing was these black pegs that I told you I was going to show you. Um, I never use these, so I gotta see how to flip them up. So he's got one peg of these on each shoulder, and one on each thigh. And which way do these pump up? Again, I never, never use these because I like him to hold his sword, but these are storage for his sword. Um, there's another one on this thigh, another one on this shoulder. I'm just not going to pop them all out. So you can take his sword and you can split it open this way. I didn't want to break it. So I just wanted to check it. Split it open this way. You can see there's a peg in the middle. What you can do is there's a hole in these black bits. And you can just have his sword hang off his shoulder. Like that, made it look silly. Or less, slightly less silly, but equally I don't use. You can have it on his hip like that, but it does not rotate. So do not force it. It just will literally stick off his thigh like that. So if you want to like have protection from somebody sneaking up behind him, then blah, 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 and then get stabbed. That's an option. I think it's kind of silly. I wouldn't have minded if they did not include that. These pores and just had the thighs completely closed. That would not have bothered me one bit, knowing I didn't have that. But they added it, so whatever. It's there if you want to use it. Use it. Who am I to judge? So yeah. Again, there's a lot of transformation joints, so it can be a little fiddly. But I mean, he does look fantastic up on a shelf. So yes, should you buy this guy? Absolutely, if you enjoy Headmasters as much as I do. You know, obviously he's a must buy. I uh, must buy. So yeah, it's generally how I have him poses with the sword crossed in front of him. Usually I go off on the side, like with his head turned, something like that. A little nicer than that, but you know, like, you get the drift. So yeah, um, he's still in stock most places unlike code which is completely gone um, so get him while you can and don't pay after market prices if you don't have to so yeah there is fans projects function x2 quadruple u aka uh, headmasters weird wolf